नमस्ते सवाले ऑफ वेलोस लिंग से वैस अमज़न से वीडियो लिंग समथिंग फ्रॉम अम न्यू न्यू एंड आई थिंक प्रॉब्ली जीप्रा कैन इट अम या जी न्यू न्यू दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट लव सॉन्ग रिक्वेस्टेड बाय दिस यूज़र दिस वाज़ द फर्स्ट वीडियो दैट केम अप एंड वाज़ प्रॉब्ली द ओनली वन दैट वाज़ I think it's the recorded version of the television cast. Cast. Yeah. Is that Japanese? Yeah, that's Japanese. I know Japanese. I know basic level of Japanese. I can speak fluently once I know what I'm speaking. If you don't believe me, I can speak Japanese. I'm just showing you. If I have to introduce myself with that, so so I will just say, "Zing Siri, actually, what's up? What are you doing? Zing Siri, so cute. Wow, first love by Zinu or Mita Yamas on Tokyo, probably Tokyo. Yeah, like I can say I know Japanese." One day, Charlie will come. Get it? But yeah, basically, I just said that we are watching this. I'm Zing said. Why not do Zing said reacts? Bam. I didn't notice notice this like people in. People when people watching um unicorn sort and I have seen like the new magic day the other one what was it um with the old Dimendi Tomundi lineup and stuff and I have the there's this another one I just forget about it where I think it was his the new magic one and what was the other one I forgot the name but I have reacted to three or four concert of his this probably going to be the fourth or the fifth one. His concerts always go very, how do you call it? Like, it it's very pleasant, but there is not much. Um, because I think his song is not much. He doesn't have very much, uh, energetic song where people wanna just get up from the seat. So it's like basically his music performances are very much enjoyable in a way where you can just sit and relax and just hear him sing. You know, there's not a lot of. If you see other other artists and songs, they usually have at least three or four songs in their concert that makes people wanna get up and you know have this upbeat song. It's more like acoustic songs more of the time, R and B acoustic contemporary songs, ballad. So yeah, he does more of that than you know jumping around the stage and stuff. That's just a good thing. Like everybody has their own way of singing. And own genre that they follow. He can't really jump in this song, right? Can he? No. He need a a big song. This is not the song for it. There was a cut there. I don't know why. Like right there. <laughs> I love Z Prok songs because and the way he sings because it's very like I talked about this in previous video as well. The range that he has is very average and approachable, easy to approach. If you are doing your vocal warm ups for a month or two, you probably can sing most of his songs. And if you are not talented singer, then after a year of continuous warm up exercises, you can definitely sing it. Cause he sings in a very average range. He sings well, but he's a range that anybody can approach, and it's not that hard. Oh, 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 you are 
Yuni, on the other hand, is is a very alto singer. But so what it means to be an alto singer is basically you're singing in the highest male pitch voice you can. So Yuni's style goes to an alto singing. Alto singing takes a different approach on vo- uh, on vocal exercises. There are different ways of vo- um, exercising your vocals because you want to be an alto singer. Alto singers are usually the ones that you see on theatrical performances, which is why I think Yunu does a lot of theatrical performance, musicals performance, because that's what you excel in mostly as an alto singer. Not that that's the only thing you can do, but that's perfectly in your range of genre, which is why he does a lot of this kind of stuff that I was just saying that his his concerts are mostly based on theatrical performances. That's why we have seen a lot of stuff. Like he presents himself as a musical artist, not as a pop artist. He doesn't present himself as a pop artist at all. I never him. I never saw him pre- represent as a pop artist ever in his. Cause I've seen like even in if you see the cover song, Domondi cover songs, never ever he has ever represented, whether it's the style wise or. Whether is the song wise, he does sing some pop songs, many covers, but he doesn't like you know, in that genre. It's a very different genre which he follows, which is based on alto singing. Now, I'm no, I know I'm not wrong about it because I know it at least this much. It's so and it's so you know it's so different with girls and guys. How when it comes to singing, because alto is the highest that a guy can go, and you will see him a lot in musical. But when it comes to girls, alto is the lowest they can go. So you will see them in rock music more. So weird, right? How the genre changes with the singers. So it's there's basically four um, to five. I think some people say five main. I say four because the other is like in the middle. Like I say, let's just say like vocal ranges, for example, to show you what I mean. Vocal ranges, the most common. There are there are a lot of ranges, but the most common is four. Some people do say five because they say soprano, soprano, and then they say mono soprano instead of alto. So they will say soprano and mono soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. So that will be their five vocal ranges. Usually they are like I say, five vocal range. Some people they just have mezzo soprano, mono soprano. You can say so that's the thing. But usually whenever like you are introduced as a beginner, you are introduced with these four vocal ranges to make it very simple for you to understand what ranges are. So we have soprano, which is the highest female vocal, and alto, low female vocal. Or boy voice. Tenor is a high adult male voice. A low adult male voice is bass. So that's why you sometimes do see um, some young K-pop idols with guy idols do go more than alto. But even then, they go more than alto. I would say they usually just go um, mezzo soprano or mono soprano. You can say. But yeah, so it's just that's what's the thing is like alto is basically the highest a guy can go. Like usually it's still tenor, but some people do reach alto depending on the person. And if you're a young person, definitely alto is where you can go. So a lot of K-pop idols just go to alto because of that. Like I said, boys' voice. So if you're young, definitely you can go to alto easily. For this example, like when Justin Bieber was singing "Hey Baby" and all of these songs, you know, if I was a boyfriend, I never let you go. He was basically in tenor to alto most of the time, and the bass. Now he's now he's a tenor singer for sure, and he does use a lot of auto tune in picture even in live singing. So you can't really tell what range he's singing in because it just gets fixed all automatically. But yeah, so this is just weird, and it's also so amazing to see like alto to tenor. Basically, this is the high up adult male highest, and this is the adult female lowest. 
this uh, as an adult female you usually will see alto singers in alternative rock rock tenor singers will be more in musical and theatrical performances and contemporary music or you know this music that uni does a lot so yeah so much stuff too that goes in. <laughs> so i think just very yeah it's very confusing as well like if you're getting confused by it don't worry i'm still stone like i'm only 70% of the time i'm right 30% are i mess it up as well and i know this stuff at least a little bit i've been learning but yeah still i just mess it up it's just that confusing you can never actually tell there's like in that range is there are different kind of octaves scales and stuff that goes in scales you have notes so like there are i think seven octaves to eight octaves that you can go um third is being the average octave from c3 to you know up notes and yeah but as i think seven is the seven to eight octaves is the maximum that you can go again i'm not very sure but yeah it's very confusing guys the music is not easy to understand if you really want to understand it it's very hard and then of course there is also why am i wait a minute why am i talking about this it's 11 minutes probably you're not even here <laughs> i'll see you guys log on take care of yourself take care of family take care of love because that's what's important in life check the previous action we have done from zine you and i will probably say this again some other time let's just keep it for the next time we meet Bye.